again if you have an injury you can ask me you can message in the comments below you can PM me privately I'm not going to be able to answer everyone but it's also nice if you can use the group chat poll so this question is common they're asking san po kayo doc you can see me in fourth floor Robinson Cybergate Brigade room 401 across Chongo Hospital po so this is my only clinic I don't have any other clinic po so if you would like to come it's best that you schedule an appointment so that when you come to the clinic I'm actually there hindi ako nag-oopera so you don't want to go to the clinic pag wala ako you can also join the Facebook group, ask those patients, those friends of yours who have injuries at Tuhod to join the Facebook group to get more value po. Kano ba doctor gagastusin magpa ACL opera? So the ACL reconstruction surgery is something that not everyone understands. So let me explain po ano yung ACL first of all. Yung cost kasi would range pag pure ACL approximately mga 200,000 pag may meniscal injury or other ligament injuries the price may go higher kasi may mga special implants po na ginagamit sa pag reconstruct ng ACL so for those of you na hindi alam ano po yung ACL again you can ask me this is what the ACL is I did a previous video on it so I'm just going to redo the video so that you can see so the ACL Pag meron na po kayong MRI, it's actually Good that line. Good This is Dr. Joff. And today we are going to show you what to... So ito po yung dark line dito na nakikita niyo sa gitna. Yan po yung ACL. It goes from front to back sa femur and tibia. It connects the ACL. Ina-explain ko po sa mga patients na para po itong poste, yung tuhod natin, poste na simento. Tapos... Yung nasa gitna na poste is yung mga kabelya po. A lot of patients say na, Dok, paano pag nagsistrengthening po kami, nagtetherapy, lalakas po ba yung tuhod? Yes and no. Ibig sabihin sa yes, yung muscles niyo will definitely get stronger. But kahit yung poste na cemento, kahit sobrang tigas, sobrang tibay yung cement na ginagamit niyo po, pag walang kable sa gitna, if you have no cables in that cement post, it will still crumble. So, ganun po yung ACL. That's what the ACL is about. It gives stability to the knee. It doesn't mean that your muscles are not strong. Po. There are many patients who have very strong muscles but have no stability because the ACL is torn. Here, you see the MRI without an ACL. This is a complete ACL tear. Po. So, I hope this answers your questions. Again, well, how do we reconstruct the ACL? For those who don't know how we reconstruct the ACL, a lot of the Asians use hamstring. Bakit yung Asians gumagamit ng hamstring reconstruction? Kasi we like to kneel, we kneel to pray. So maybe in other countries, they use the bone patellar bone. It has more knee pain. So if, they, if you meet someone in the U.S., maybe they get their grafts from some place else. Some place else, like the bone patellar tendon sa front, sa harap ng tuhod. So we make bone tunnels. Yan po yung nakikita niyo po dito. And in, through these bone tunnels, we place our graft. The graft can be, what I use is the hamstring. The others will use different grafts. But this is what will become your new graft, yung ACL po. And we secure these with special implants. Yan po yung button. And down there, if you can see this, there is a screw that keeps it in place. So there are implants that are used to reconstruct your ACL. And if you have more than just an ACL tear, if you have a meniscus tear, if you have other ligament injuries, there may be other implants that will be used. So yung cost po ng surgery increases. You have more implants, longer surgery, larger costs. Very important that we examine yung mga patients natin. So again, I'm inviting those of you to join the group. If you don't know about our group, please share with yung mga friends nyo who have a knee injury, possibly an ACL injury, so that they can get value from joining the group. And again, for those who are asking me, san po yung clinic? Again, I'm at Robinson Cybergate Room 401 po, Monday and Friday, 10 to 3. Another question that I found sa group natin is from Hal. 
um, ma o ngita ko second opinion ani dok. So he's asking for a second opinion. And again, you can ask me if you plan to get a second opinion. He's showing me actually na meron po siyang status post ACL reconstruction surgery. That means he's already had a surgery. The ACL was already reconstructed. And number two, torn po yung ACL graft. So he retore the ACL graft. Number three, he retore the meniscus. Mm. And four, we have another ligament injured, yung MCL. So these are all MRI findings. What does this mean? Likely, if everything here is true, you may need a revision na surgery po. A second surgery to fix. A lot of questions pag hindi ko na examine yung patient. Did you do the therapy? Did you follow the doctor's advice? Long story short, it's really important that we examine the patients. Hindi lang yung MRI because the MRI is not 100% accurate po. So I hope this helps, sir. And I hope that you seek an opinion, second opinion, sa doctor na talagang nakikita niyo face to face. You have to see the doctor. The doctor needs to be able to examine your knee po. That's what I would recommend. Get a face to face physical examination because the MRI is not 100% accurate. If patients just give me MRIs, I have more questions because I haven't examined the patient. And I cannot give you the best advice na kailangan niyo po. So hope that helps. And if you plan to come to the clinic, you know where to find me. I'm at 401 Robinson Cybergate po, Monday and Friday, 10 to 3. This po is another question in the groups. Sir, kani nga injured ba? Maayo, maayo pa ni? Mabikil siya, sir. So, he had a knee injury. I don't know exactly what injury. He's showing the x-ray which looks looks completely normal. Again, mahirap mag-examine pag hindi na-examine yung patient. If I am not able to examine the patient, it's really hard to tell what the injury is. But in reality, most knee injuries can be fixed. Not all injuries will heal without any surgery. So knowing what the injury is, is the first step. Examining and talking to the patient face-to-face -face is the first step that you need to do po. And I hope clear, claro po, because you can ask me all you want, but my best advice will only be when I have examined you po. So salamat po sa tanong po. Yun po yung advice ko. Please see a doctor near you. See a specialist so that your knee will get examined po. So, John was asking, Maayo pa ba na yung tuhod? Really not sure because I have not seen you. There's a very big need to do a physical exam because once we know what you have, then we know what to do. Most knee injuries can be fixed and not all injuries heal without fixation po. Uh, Sir John, join the Facebook group if you have not joined yet. The ACL Reconstruction Community Cebu. Thanks for that question. Moving on, we have another question in the group. Good evening, Doc. I just want to ask about the following. Kana normal rabana mo walk with a limp in the first few weeks. So in the first few weeks, maybe he means after the surgery. Is it normal to walk with a limp? Most likely, if you're talking first few weeks after surgery, you may have some weakness in the muscles, so that can be normal po. If you have a ACL reconstruction surgery, there is swelling of the joint. It's a little bit of pain and soreness, and that can cause the limb. Weakness of the muscles around the thigh, around the hip, is another cause of a possible limb after surgery. So, again, thanks for that question about that limb. So Henry is the patient that's asking, normal ba ang limp after surgery? Yes, it can be a weakness, it can be a swelling, it can be some knee pain that causes the limp. And something that can help you 
this is a video of a patient doing rehab for their limb uh, this is actually a little too fast you want to do these squats in a super slow motion so that you get the benefit of the strengthening exercise again thanks for that question join the group if you have not sir henry and so you can get the benefit of being an, in our community for and for those who want to consult my services i'm at 401 robinson cybergate monday to friday 10 to 3. our next question po is from tagalite so this guy is from Leyte. akong anak di ay ang na acl doc tagalite ko and again thanks for asking this is dr jonathan flor and this is sir bomb from Leyte. And Sir Bom, yes, the, I'm showing you a picture, Sir Bom, of patients who I have already treated na galing po sa Leyte. So you are not the first father and son na galing sa Leyte. We've had families around Visayas, Cebu, Mindanao. And we will do our best to treat you po. The nice thing about Leyte, it's just a fast craft in certain areas ng Leyte. If you are... Uh, in Southern Leyte, you can get a fast craft direct to Cebu, get a consultation, and go back po. It's really, again, important if your son really has an ACL, we confirm this by a physical examination sa clinic po. We want also to rule out other injuries such as injuries sa meniscus and other ligaments. Again, the MRI is not 100% accurate po. So, this is one of our patients from Leyte already walking after his ACL reconstruction. So thanks again for the question, Sir Bom. Join the Facebook group and Yung Sanyu can also join. He can ask questions himself so that the more as questions you ask, the more your anxieties will be relieved. Po. Hope that helps. And yes, uh, even if you're from Leyte, you can see me in Cebu. It's only one trip away. So moving to the next question, we have a question here. I want to know, Doc, if the surgery can be covered by HMO or PhilHealth and if your clinic offers staggered payment. So, uh, thanks for that question about ACL reconstruction, HMO, staggered payment, and PhilHealth. So, Ken, the answer is about the HMO, yes. HMO, for those of you who do not know, it's called a health maintenance organization. Examples are MaxiCare, PhilCare, IntelliCare. They are also known as yung HMO insurances. And they typically are helping our patients of different companies get the healthcare that they need. And they assist patients in getting their surgery done also. So for PhilHealth, yes, we do have PhilHealth. So staggered payment, typically if you have an HMO and PhilHealth, uh, there is usually no staggered payment but if you want to know more about this PhilHealth HMO please do come to the clinic so we can talk more about these things and the HMOs typically have a code and a value for the procedure and they will cover most of the procedure except the implants well. so I hope that answers your question Sir Ken Salamat po sa tanong. Please do join the Facebook group and share with your friends. Then, please see me din sa clinic because if you want to know more about HMOs, PhilHealth, uh, with regards to the Sagard payment, we can definitely talk about that po. I'm not sure if you have HMOs, kaya po yan. But we also do our best for those patients who don't have enough funds, we do a charity surgery po. And that may be an option for you. So, hope this helps. Our next question po sa group is from Reggie. Uh, good evening, Doc. Na kui ask ni mo regarding about sa akong knee. And yeah, thank you, Sir Reggie. You can definitely ask me about your knee. And this is Reggie's question. Uh, what to do because he's sharing an MRI again of his knee showing MRI says complete anterior cruciate ligament tear bucket handle type tear of the medial meniscus so when you have these types of injuries definitely we want to fix both 
the ACL and the meniscus. Meniscus, we fix using special instruments. And for those of you who were at the start of this live, we talked about the cost of ACL reconstruction. There's an additional cost for repairing the meniscus. Po. This is a meniscus using a special suture. We repair it inside the knee. And you can see slowly the meniscus has been repaired. Again, these videos are available in our group, in the Facebook group. You can check out these videos about ACL reconstruction, meniscal repair, and other stuff. So please do join the Facebook group and share with your friends. We have already about 1.9 thousand members. And for those of you who would like a consultation, I'm at 401 Robinson Cyber Gate Ball.